Hi everyone, this is Heather Mahalik with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to talk to you about the contents that are contained within a UFD file. Recently, many questions came in about the UFD, UFDX, and HMAC. I want to walk you through each of these. So if you have an extraction that you created with UFETTER Premium and you open it, you will now see a UFDX file. A UFDX file is automatically created when you use one of the newer versions of UFETTER Premium and it was previously created if you did multiple extractions within one session, such as maybe you did an advanced logical and then a file system backup or a physical in one session. If you go into the file system extraction or each individual extraction, you will see this UFD file. So these UFD files are a pointer that's created by UFED and premium that tells PA how to open a specific extraction. You can open it using notepad or anything you want, and it's going to give you information about the device that's being acquired. In addition, it's going to give you a hash value that you opted in the settings. And then it's also going to provide this HMAC hash. So HMAC is hash based message authentication code, and it's cryptographic authentication that ensures the UFD is secure. So if anyone edits the UFD, there will be a mismatch in that hash. It will show any modifications. This will stand true when you open the UFD or the UFDX for validation, which I will show in next week's Tip Tuesday. The final thing I wanna show you is in UFED, if you go into settings and you go into reports, this is where you will choose between SHA-256 or MD5. You can obviously choose both if you want. I have just SHA-256, which is why that is the only one that was shown in my UFD file. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more tips like this one.